Well, howdy, all you YouTubers out there. It's been a little while since I gave an update on the chicken coop build. So that's what I'm going to do. It's New Year's Day 2021. Happy New Year to everyone. And I'll go over the new additions first. The only thing that remains to be done is two doors. One underneath here to give access to the area underneath the coop and one at the end of the chicken run here. So the new features since the last video is basically the chicken run structure which is three quarter inch PVC with uh, machine wire they call it stretched over it and uh, attached with about several thousand staples and a lot of cable ties. I'll let you come in a little closer here so you can see the construction of the chicken run area. Of course, this is the area where the chickens will be able to go outside during the day. Okay. secured at the end here where the door is going to be with a lot of staples and cable ties. We've added the new ramp for the chickens to go in and out and of course the automatic door that opens at dawn and closes at dusk to secure the chickens. We've added these new feeding systems for water and for the chicken feed. So it will have several days supply. Basically you just open this up here. Well, it's hard to do with one hand. I think it's actually frozen shut, but you just take that cover off there pour the chicken feed in and it comes down to this four inch PVC. A piece cut out there for the grain and then, sorry for the sniffles. And over here we got the same thing with the, the watering system. These little cups put the water in there and so if we go away for the weekend or whatever, I'll have plenty of food and water. This is the back side here. We've added a few lights. I'll probably put another one on the back here. Um, so, and everything else is, as you have seen before, that's the controller for the automatic door. And then we have our two doors here. This opens up for the inside of the coop for cleaning. There's some tools and stuff in there right now. Probably getting the chickens, I don't know, February or March, I guess. Something like that. There's the roof. Clear polycarbonate. And then the nesting area. up here. I still do have to put a partition in there. It'll be two or three boxes, probably just two I guess. So they'll lay their eggs in here and then this door opens up to conveniently retrieve the eggs without needing to open the main doors. Another solar light and uh, place for an extension cord to go to give power if we need to have a heat lamp or something in there or whatever. Beware of chickens. Oh, by the way, I use this 
cobalt air compressor. It is very quiet actually for the, for the pneumatic stapler. I put in all those hundreds of staples. I really like this air compressor. If you're ever thinking about getting one, I recommend this one. It's a cobalt. And the front door here. Bob and Marlene's Farm Fresh Eggs. Another solar light, the roof of course. Front door, usually we won't have that thing propped open when we open it there, but it allows ventilation. This propped up thing allows ventilation. Still keeping the chicken secure, as you can see. And I guess that's all the features. So, as I said, all I have to do is go get some wood for the final two doors the one on the chicken run and the one underneath. And then this long project will be complete. Alrighty, thanks for watching. Happy New Year to you.